Alrighty, I was over in the Mac App Store today and I had seen a cool little application and I stuck it out there on Facebook and Twitter and asked anybody if they were interested in an image for me to create for them. And um, I had a couple people with the interest and you can see right here is $3.99 and what it does is pretty much it takes a person's image here and converts it over here to the little, you know, um, little wordy thing basically so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda go over here or word word fly whatever it's called so what we're gonna do is we're going to start from beginning to end I've never used this application before in my life uh, and I'm gonna put my password in there hopefully you guys don't see that there and uh, I'm going to download this application and I'm going to you know work it out from beginning to end to see how it works out I, I don't know what to expect um, so you guys are seeing this thing for the first time with me so let me go over here to my downloaded applications there it is right there and we're gonna pop this bad baby open and see what we can do uh, maybe maybe not I normally have a timer, but we're not going to do a timer here today. So we have different little templates here. See what this is about. So we have all kind of different little templates we can play with or whatever the case may be. And let me go ahead and hit the plus symbol there. See what happens. Or not the plus, but the play button there. And kind of see. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's created a flag and put the little words in there. Alrighty. So let's go ahead now and uh, converting it over to a PDF looks like oh okay that's pretty cool I like that little flag there okay so let's throw that away and let's go ahead and go grab an image real fast and see what we can do so let me go over here to my stock photography and individual people right here and let's go see what we got going on over here so we have all these different people here already on a white background looks like we're going to be able to possibly get something good out of it she looks like a good specimen so we're good what we're going to do is we're going to take her we're going to drop her over here and over here i'm guessing you can apply your own words i don't know it's the first time i've ever seen this application like I mentioned, it's a pretty cool picture, pretty cool tattoo there, and nothing's happening. So let's just go ahead and, okay, now we got the beach ball of death. All right, so let's go back over here. Uh, here is crazy ones. Okay, so we got the crazy ones quote right here, and then over here we have their actual logo. Words still don't have the color. Alrighty, and uh, smaller to bigger. All right, so we got a few different options over here. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to. Okay, it's looking through all my font, so that's the reason why it took so long for me there. So let's go back over here, and this is the crazy ones. These words are appealing your image. So let's see if we can get one of our own here. Word count. We can do the different colors, I guess. So let's see what we got going on here. So let's just go ahead and run this right here. I'm not going to even attempt to put in my own paragraph in text yet, but I mean, this is definitely an easy way for you to make some money by putting some things together. And preview should pop up. And her towel really didn't show up that, that well, but you know alrighty so here's what we came up with so it looks pretty cool looks pretty easy you know all kind of different words in there it's pretty fun um, let's go ahead and throw that away let's see what other options we have here so let's go over here and surprise me and let's go ahead and play with some sliders 
Okay, there's the color of it. So I guess they just give you the primary colors. So let's go with the blue. Oh, that's too blue. All right. And let's slide that little adjuster deal right there and see what we can come up with here. See what we can get going. Seems like a pretty cool app, though. You know, I would definitely um, recommend it, you know, especially if you're not into uh, the Photoshop thing all the way through and through. Um, so here's what we got so far and I would definitely just recommend trying it out I mean you never know um, what you may need this for but like I mentioned before I stuck it out there to my Facebook crew and said hey here's what I can do for you I got a couple people that's interested so here I am downloading the application you see where I paid four bucks for it but I will make that money back in a matter of you know one day because I already you know kind of pre-sold it to where people were interested in getting their image done so here's what we have here you see the words and you can really kind of get in there and fine-tune it and play around with it in reference to really making it work for you so um, it's gonna be a matter of getting it out to a JPEG you know for sure uh, let's go over here and find a new image uh, let's go over here to stock files individual people and let's try this young lady right here and let's go ahead and drag her up here and see if that'll override there yep yep perfect so let's go up here let's go to file open image file let's go over here to uh, about quit open image um it looks like you can go up here to wordy fly whatever it's called right away and you can just click that and you can just hit it and go with it seems pretty cool pretty easy pretty simple to use so um, if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment below. Let me know how it worked out for you. Let me know if you like it. And, um, you know, I'm sure somewhere within this application, there is a way to uh, definitely um, pop in your own words that you desire versus the default words that they give you. And it looks like it's doing a really good job there. I'm a big fan of typography. So, this right here is going to look really good on some of my designs uh, uh, being a web developer you know once I kind of fine tune it to fill in the little slots right there um, she got a white shirt on so you definitely want to be aware of the color white inside of your images the white shirts not really showing up there but the black is showing up and around her neck and everything so you can see how it's thrown different kind of words and different font styles and all kind of good stuff right inside the image here so it's a matter now of taking this preview image and opening it with actually let's go ahead and I don't want to open with iCloud so let's go over here and export it to I do know you can open up PDFs to uh, so there's a PNG right there and there's a JPEG and I'm going to save it to my desktop and see what we get here so we'll go with the best quality and go ahead and save it all right there it is right there let's go ahead and close this right here and here's the image right here to 2500 by 2500 and now it's a jpeg you can just take that and i can open it right here with photoshop and do whatever i want to do with it so check it out let me know how it works out for you sorry the tutorial was so long but we did this from beginning to end so um, have fun with it, guys. All right. Bye-bye now.